Hello YouTube stackers! This is ST with Silver Stacking 101, where we always believe in staying stacked and packed. Stacked with silver, gold, food, ammo, and packed with the means necessary to defend our stack. I want to talk about the declining stock market and its potential impact or lack of impact on the price for silver. This video may be a little bit longer than normal because we are going to get a little bit technical in this video. The stock market has established a downward trend and is entering a period of volatility. Let's talk about what has happened. First of all, the stock market has been in a bubble. Bubbles are not new in economic history. We can go back to the tulip mania in Holland in the past century, how many boom and bust have happened in Florida real estate? The stock market's been subject to it several times, or sectors of the stock market, such as the turn of this century and the tech bubble. Silver's actually had two bubbles in my 48 years on this planet, the second being in this decade. We are witnessing a bursting of a bubble due to overvaluation in the stock market. Now, how do we know this? We know it by looking at the stocks that compose the market. Their P-E ratios, the price to earnings multiple. Theoretically, when people buy stock, they buy rights to the future earnings of the company. The P.E. multiples have went off the charts in the past four to five years for the companies that comprise the stock market. Keep in mind, markets are comprised of two things. One, invest, investment vehicles, in this case, equities, and two, investors. Investors are people. They're driven by the same emotions as everybody else. When bubbles form, they form due to irrational exuberance. There was no reason the stock market should have rose to the levels it did. It was able to do it by having large P.E. multiples. The price to earnings ratios went way out of whack. What happened is on a normal in a normal time what would be selling at 10 to 1 15 to 1 pe started selling at 40 and 50 to 1. that's indicative of a bubble forming there's not optimal pe we should shoot for it's dependent on the industry it's dependent on the company's position within the industry there are many factors that determines what PE is acceptable. Let me provide some examples. When Google first came out in their IPO, they had great room for growth. So one would accept a higher PE ratio because they could grow big time. Let's go middle of the road. Retail. Brick and mortar retail is in a contraction. We would not expect big growth from a retail chain, so we will pay a much less P.E. multiple. Let's go to the opposite end of the spectrum from the Google, and that's newspaper industry. Newspapers are going the way of the dodo bird. No matter how good a company is within the newspaper industry, sorry, I did not cut off my alerts no matter how good a company is within a newspaper industry the industry is dying we will pay a very small PE ratio by the way the way to go broke is to gain market share in a dying industry that's a sure path to go broke side note there well the PE ratios have went way out of whack now realism is coming into play. The stock market market bubble is bursting. 
and it's bursting because it was tremendously overvalued. The opposite of irrational exuberance is gloom and doom unjustified. That happens. Now why have I gone through all this and why, how am I going to relate this to silver? Granted, our money supply and our monetary system has weaknesses. Those weaknesses can and do drive the value of silver long term. The stock market correction we are seeing is not due to the monetary weaknesses. It is due to overvaluation of the stocks for the past four or five years. Since it is not adjusting due to a monetary weakness, it should have very minimal effects on the silver market. Why do I say that? The internet is already lit up with pumpers that are trying to sell us their silver, telling us this is the end of the world as we know it. This is the proceeding. This is proceeding a major depression. It's not. The same monetary weaknesses that were present during the run-up are present today. Maybe a little bit greater, greater in their intensity, but they're not driving this. The overvaluation due to irrational exuberance of stocks is being corrected, and that's what we're seeing. As this continues, and I believe it will, I think we way overdue for a correction. I thought it probably would happen after the first of the year, but it's coming a little bit sooner than I thought, but that's cool. We're going to be fed misinformation, even from the mainstream media. And that's why I'm doing Silver and Economic News series, which I'm going to do a new video in that series this week, because this is coming down the pike. Do not infer weaknesses in the stock market and the equities market to indicate strength in the precious metals market. In this particular situation, one does not necessarily affect the other. It will be kind of interesting, as a side note, when the 401k statements come out in January, how consumer sentiment is affected. That will be a number I will be watching very closely because that number can get dangerous if it goes negative. Let me know what you think. Agree or disagree? Tell me what you think and why you think it. Please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. And another announcement. I have a Finished the book. The event, I have delivered some advanced copies in electronic format to some folk. And this week, I am going to be launching it on this channel. Thank you for watching. God bless you. And remember, stay stacked and packed.